Yeah, no, I, I mentioned earlier that Australia's response to now four bleaching events dating back to 1998 on the Great Barrier Reef has been pretty pathetic. Um, so I think because of public pressure, uh, and I'd like to think we contributed to that by um, speaking out about, about what's happening to the Great Barrier Reef, there has been significant response by the government. Uh, but many people, including myself, are very sceptical about the nature of that. So, logically, if climate change is the number one impact on the Great Barrier Reef, you deal with climate change, but that's not what's been happening. Instead, there's been a ridiculous amount of money, about half a billion dollars, put into um, a, a whole potpourri of schemes, um, most of which are pretty laughable. So there's a scheme to put fans to try and cool one hectare of it. The Great Barrier Reef is 344,000 square kilometers in size. It's about the size of Italy or Japan. So the notion that we can protect the Barrier Reef from the next bleaching event by installing fans on one of the 3,000 individual reefs that makes up the entire Great Barrier Reef is, is pretty ludicrous. They're also putting uh, money into floating sunscreen for corals. That's a chemical that floats on the surface and shades the corals underneath. The problem with that is something called waves and currents and of course the sunscreen breaks down. You would, you would need it to be immobile at the size of Italy uh, and to last for about two months for it to be uh, effective. Um, and no, an awful lot of money is also going into attempts to control crown of thorn starfish by injecting them with poison one at a time uh, and that's completely ineffective those programs have been in place now for five or more years and we still have out of control outbreaks of crown of thorns throughout the entire great barrier reef they can't be controlled it's like running after a plague of locusts with a butterfly net the root cause of those outbreaks is runoff of pollutants from land that provide more food, phytoplankton, for the juvenile starfish. That's what we should be doing. So the root causes of the problems of the Great Barrier Reef are um, pollutants running off from agricultural land, which we can deal with, and, and climate change. And that's the elephant in the room, which Australia is refusing to deal with.